Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are playing Medieval 2 Total War, carrying on with our English campaign, of course, where we have got the battle with the Danes that we have been waiting for for many, 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 many turns. The bridge battle. Now, we do outnumber them, but they do have much better troops. Much better troops. And I'm hoping, I don't want to sacrifice Edmund, but I'm hoping we can stall their advance on Antwerp whilst we get some reinforcements coming up with Captain Barnaby. I'd like to think we can get another couple of turns before they attack Antwerp, but let's find out. Let's get into it. Master your courage, men. And here we are. Now, there's nowhere else for them to cross. It's a very wide river. Now, how are we going to play this? So, archers, of course, they can probably... Let's do two either side of these crossbows. These are the crossbows. Let's just bring you back there. We'll do the longbows either side. Very close. And we'll get them even further up. Oh, these crossbows as well. These are crossbows. We have a lot of missile troops, don't we? You guys can go there. You guys can probably just fill in be actually no, you guys can probably just fill in like s uh, let's probably do one either side actually. One like that and one like this. Perfect. Then the last of the longbows, uh, last of the Oh, actually hang on. Hang on a second. Grouped you together. Let's bring you in slightly. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Turn off skirmish mode. Similarly, you guys can jump in like that. Now, the bulk of the army. Spearmen. We are just going to have to bunch you up as close as possible to the front. Now, I don't necessarily want to put the mercenary spearmen up front just because of their morale. However, they do have the most quantity of troops in our army. So, we can fill up behind with some reinforcement spearmen. They can go there. Perfect. You guys are the ones that are lacking in numbers, aren't you? So you can just fill up behind like that. Now. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in now, numbers what they lack in gallantry. The main army is all the way over there. Do we perhaps charge out to these guys? I mean, what are they? Dismounted feudal knights? Actually, no. Let's just let them come across. Let them come across. Now, how far can our archers actually reach? You can reach over there. Okay, not that close. However, let's just bring you guys a little bit closer like that. So let's get you guys to run. We'll get this side a little bit closer as well. And also, we'll fill up the spears just in front of the bridge entrance. Okay, they're coming over. They are coming over. They're literally just head first straight into us. Hopefully they don't do much damage to us, but... I mean, it's Dismounted Feudal Knights against Spearmen. It's not the best. Hopefully the archers and the crossbows can actually do significant damage here. There's a lot... Oh, they're taking a lot of casualties with those crossbows. I think it's the crossbows that are causing them damage. This is great. Come on, guys. You guys... Oh, I've not turned skirmish mode off for of you guys. Have I? No, of course not. Oh, any of you, actually. That's annoying. Well, you guys can get back into position up there. You guys are still firing on them. Hopefully not friendly fire. I don't think it's... I think it might be friendly fire. Turn. Fire it will off. You guys, get in there. Get in there. You are taking a lot of casualties. You are taking a lot of casualties. Let's bring the cavalry in. Actually, do eat in the wavering, eager, fresh. Mm, okay. You guys... You and you, I want you guys straight in there. They're pushing through. They are pushing through. Oh, my. They are... They're getting through us. Like a knife through butter, they are getting through us. You guys, charge in and support them. Charge in and support them. Are these all fresh? They must be fresh. They are fresh. Perfect. You guys, charge in as well. Let's just severely outnumber them, and hopefully that will cause them to break. Because the shaken... And they've broken. The they have like broken. This, Perfect. You guys. On them. On them. Come on. Just get in there. Wait, what? It's time to press the attack. Wait, what? Hang on a second. They have another army. What's going on here? 
But let's just continue the battle. You guys can come back and let's just let the cavalry go and chase them down. That is confusing. Why has that happened? Well, we've continued the battle and these guys are still advancing in. Unless they completely routed before all of the enemy units actually advanced onto the battlefield. And now that they are on the battlefield, look. This has actually gone down. Okay. Well, that actually probably... We probably could have ended the battle there. But... I'd like to carry on and just see how many casualties we can inflict on the Danes. Now, in good fashion, they are sending up their missile units. Besides these here, which look like Norse Axemen. They've sent the ballistas, and there's a couple of Norse archers here as well. Now, I am thinking we send our cavalry across just to go and finish them off. Because other than that, what else have they got here? Because they've definitely got more archers, but... Okay, so there's archers there. They look like peasant archers. We've then got some spearmen there. The crossbows are mingling in with the spearmen, trying to blend in. Very sneaky of them. What else? The ballistas, there's another ballista and crossbow unit there. Similarly, it looks as though we can see some archer units as part of this contingent here. Axemen and more archers. Okay. Well, if they keep coming forward, let's just leave our cavalry to walk, not to exhaust themselves. And let's just slowly come forward and pick off these units one by one. Now, are these running? They are running. Are these running as well? They're running as well. What is going on? They're just leaving them to die. Wow. And so over the bridge, we split up into two, and you guys charge into them. They have broken immediately. Perfect. Dismounted Huskals. There's only 23 of you, but let's get a bit of a run up on you guys. You might take some casualties because you are kind of heavy infantry, but... Nope. Over here. Please. Please. Please, 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 please. Thank you very much. Now, what I want you to do is turn around and charge into them. That's it. Straight into them. Shaken. Oh, broken. Amazing. Now, who's next? You've completely obliterated those dismounted Huskals. The rest of the army is now indeed marching towards us. Are these archers? These are archers. Okay. I wonder if we could pick them off at the same time now. There are two ballista units. We've, we're going to be able to pick off these guys. But unfortunately, the other one is still part of the other group. Oh, they just went flying. They're going to break. Surely they're going to break. How do these guys have better morale than the other guys? I do not know. Shaken. Come on. We've not taken any casualties yet. No, we've not. And they've broken. Perfect. Norse archers are... Do we pick them off? Do we try and pick them off? If we go this close, there's going to be a lot of casualties. Let's just try and smash into them. I'm just thinking the crossbows, a lot of the missile units that they have may actually stop and try and fire on us. They have a lot. I'm just looking at all this. There's crossbows here, Norse archers, and the ballistas. Hopefully, we can pick off this one. The more we can pick off now, because the cavalry are only going to be here to pick off any routers. We're going to get them back over the bridge and let the infantry and the crossbows and longbows do their work. Now, these guys have just become oblivious to the fact that they are getting absolutely battered on this side. But we are taking some casualties here. And the Norse archers are definitely far superior to the peasant archers and the crossbows. And they've gone back to steady. Now, we are taking more casualties. Now, what I'm going to do is probably go over here, because you guys might actually start becoming a bit wavering and shaken. We did manage to kill a few, but we managed to lose some cavalry in the same time. Now, Norse archers, Norse archers, peasant archers there. Let's just get our guys back over the bridge. I've decided against it. We're going to go against some peasant archers. Norse archers, Norse archers. Crossbow, crossbow. Norse archers. Let's leave this cavalry over the bridge, actually. 
Let's leave this cavalry on this side of the bridge because they're not going to do any good on that side. We've got the general over there for morale buffs. But let's see if we can pick off, especially the ballistas. Now, what's trailing behind? Are these dismounted feudals? No, they are not. They are just spamming. They look like dismounted... Um, they just look like spamming. So, they can go over there. Now, the archers and the crossbows are advancing forward first. Crossbows trailing behind them. I do want to try and pick off as many of those as we possibly can. Now, could we perhaps get our guys, our archer units, a bit further down here to get a bit more distance? You can just about get over there, which is good. What about the crossbows? The crossbows as well. You guys, defend that spot with your life, men. Defend that spot. Let's put the crossbows over there as well. These guys are just going to charge a... Wait, what? Wait, what? What is... What? I, I don't get this. What is going on? Oh, because they've not got the distance. So they're literally just blockading the bridge. Oh, this is good. We could have cavalry charged down here, but that's fine. What's coming in behind them? The crossbows. I think they're all just coming on. They are all just literally straight onto the bridge. And for that, we can surround them. We can actually surround them. We can have our cavalry in the back, our spears in the front. They are taking some casualties, but that is more than acceptable for the casualties we are going to inflict on them. Come on, guys. Straight into the back of them. They've not even noticed. They have not even noticed. Come on. Come on. Look at the missiles firing from both sides. Should I add? Now, they have broken. Now, are the spear going to turn around on us? Is that why they left the spear behind? No. They're not even going to bother. They're going to pretend like they've not seen anything. And you know what? Let's get our Norse archers. Let's get their Norse archers with our cavalry behind them. Or actually, let's charge into these spearmen and try and get them to break. Now, this side. I imagine these guys are probably going to be taking a bit of fire from the cavalry and the infantry that is charging across. So let's just bring them out slightly, just slightly, just to make sure that they don't get attacked from any stampeding cavalry or infantry units. Now, you guys charge into the back of them. They should break very quickly. And then we can charge straight into the back of those guys. Come on. Come on. I trust in you guys to actually not break. Fresh, fresh, fresh. They're all fresh. Perfect. Let's give a cheer from the general. Perfect. So you guys are charging on. Straight into the back of them. They've broken. They've all... Oh my god. They've all just literally broken. No. They've all just broken. They've all just broken. No way. Spear militia there. The only ones that haven't broken are the Norse archers. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. This is amazing. I didn't realise we are going to break this bath. This quickly as well. Spears there. Norse work clerics, you get on them. Let's try and kill this commander. How are these guys doing? They're all eager. They're still all eager. And they, now they've all broken. Oh no, the Norse archers still haven't broken. You guys are struggling to understand how bridge works. But that's fine. Come on. Come on, you guys. Please, do you know, on the bridge. You need to go on the bridge. And all of the... All of the Danish army is broken. All of the Danish army... And we are just... Abs... Oh... That's a very nice part of the river. But, unfortunately, I think what they were trying to show us is the death of their commanding general. And now we are just stampeding through with our cavalry. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is incredible. Wow. And that's it. We've just picked them all off. We have picked them all off. There's one crossbow unit left. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory wow. worthy of only the mightiest of generals. I think leaving the cavalry on the opposite side was a perfect decision. A heroic victory as well. We lost 230, but we've killed and captured way over a thousand. That is incredible. We could actually push... Um, no, I'd like to say we could push onto Hamburg, but not with the army that we've got currently. We have to wait for those reinforcements for the far, far superior troops. 6,000 florins. We could do with the money. 
But looking at that army, I would much rather see that army completely eradicated from the battle map. And now they are fully retreating, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We could perhaps force a bridge battle closer to Hamburg. Master Assassin, absolutely. We could force a bridge battle here. Potentially. But with the army there, the army there, I don't want to push out too close just yet whilst this army is coming closer. You guys can go over there. Let's merge some of these guys together. And you guys go in there. Perfect. Let's get rid of this army here. You can go in there. You can go in there. There and there. Perfect. We could possibly get you guys. I'm thinking for what we've reinforced the army with here, we could get other troops to come back and retrain. So where we've got mercenary spearmen here, we could disband them. We could go and get the mailed knights retrained because they have a lot of experience, those. How many turns? Three turns to join the crusade. Let's, let's focus on that now because I don't want to forget about that. So, the king... We could probably get one of those. We will get two of these spearmen. Let us get some archers. Now, we don't actually have many archers here, do we? Let's get some archers there, and then they can join the crusade next turn as well. Ups. Mailed knights. Um, I'm just thinking... What could we get? I'm thinking what mercenary units we could get on the Crusade. We could definitely get cavalry and infantry. And I mean, Antioch is there. I can't imagine anybody being close to that yet. We are being blockaded by the French Navy. Oh, but they're attacking us and we've been told not to attack them now. Why? Why? <laughs> okay. Let's... Oh, that's bumped them down, but that's fine. Let's pump you into there as well. And let us take one more unit of this levy spearman. And I think, I think once we've got the archers in there as well, we can join the crusade. We can join the crusade. Perfect. And once we've done that, we should hopefully, hopefully be able to get there in time before anybody else gets it. Antioch could be a good settlement, I guess, for our Eastern Empire campaign. But I'm now also thinking that might be a bad guess because of the looming Mongols that are up here. Unless they decide to come down into Turkey. Perhaps it would be best to get a spy over there as well. Now where? Just for just for out of curiosity, let's try and get a spy over there. Let's see how far they actually are. Get a spy in there. Perfect. Now where is our assassin? Assassino. We have lying somewhere. We've got a spy there. And there is our assassin. There is our assassin. Can you please kill him? Is it the snake? It's not the snake. And we got him. Amazing. We actually got him. Perfect. And we do have an assassin looming around somewhere else. And I just... Do not know where he is. Where is Toby the killer? This is the one. Rem. Oh, he's in Rem himself. Oh, okay. 78. Kill him. Is it the snake tactic? And it works this time. It has worked this time. Perfect. Can we still kill this Inquisitor? Nope. And even more so, nope. French princess, nope. Russian diplomat, 31. Why? Why? We've got quite a decent assassin here. Sort of. Unless we can just kill all of these Imperial priests. 48, 60, 60, and 60. Do you know what? Sure, just go and, go and have some fun with them. Go and have some fun with them. Why not? Now, once we get that spy trained over there, let's bring this spy closer over here. And let's go and have a look over here, just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Now, Ballista Towers, eh, maybe, but let's go for the great market. Again, we're all about the economic income. Angiers, we could retrain some more troops here. I don't think that's necessary at the moment. We could actually turn Angiers into a city as well. That actually couldn't... That could actually be a good idea, you know. 
Now that we have Metz, Stauffen and Bern, we could use Metz to reinforce the Danish campaign. Okay. Sire. Okay. An order. That could actually be an idea. Let us know in the comments what you think. We could turn Angiers into a city, just for the economic bonus that we get from that. And it is a fortress. We can get to lose into a citadel very soon as well. Oh, we have... Wait, did we get the upgrade? We did. Okay, perfect. So we now have two citadels right on the front down here. Angiers isn't actually on border with anybody else. We're going to get Dijon and Marseille very soon. We could potentially convert one of these into a castle slash fortress or citadel. But that's a very large city. And that's a minor city. More so this one. But then we've got these here. So I don't see the need to. And if we get Hamburg as well, we're going to have a citadel there. Castle, fortress, fortress there as well. So I think that'll be fine. So yeah, let us know in the comments what you want to do about Angiers. Now, looking far, far north... We can see where that Danish Navy actually ran away to. Now, is there anything we can build in here? Let's get some churches. I know we've said this time and time again. But let's get some churches in and around the Empire as well. You're going to go and get retrained there. You're going to go and get retrained there. Although we can't get hulks there, can we? We can only get them in Nottingham and London. So, with that, we can get them in Edinburgh as well, actually. We should probably go on to Edinburgh. Fairly sure we can get them in Edinburgh. We can. Perfect. We might actually... What's in Stockholm at the moment? Oh, only two. Do we Do we get a sneak army? Do we just get a very small army and go and take out Stockholm? Ooh. I... Honestly... I think this is Gales of Fairford. Let's do it. Let's go and get a very small army and go and take them out. Let's just do it. Why not? Crossbow... If we bring you, are you going to be happy? Are you still on very high tax rate? You are, that's fine. Carnarvon, what can we train here? Longbowmen, some mailed knights. Do you know what? We can do that next turn. You can go back into York and we'll get some longbowmen, mailed knights. And perhaps we can train some must... Uh, where is the... Convert to last time. We need some levy spearmen. We need some levy spearmen. Knight stables for the mailed knights, but... Okay, we'll probably just get some Militia Spearmen. Probably just get some of them for the time being. Yeah, okay, we'll do that instead then. We'll get them, we'll get some Longbows and we'll get some Mailed Knights and we'll just head over to go and take Stockholm. I think that'll be quite fun. Now, next turn. We've got the Spanish Navy. Why does it retreat closer to our borders? We don't want that. Why does that make any sense? Holy Roman diplomat making his way around Frankfurt's army. They have a lot of troops, the Holy Romans. But they don't really want to do anything with it. Unless they are trying to prepare a defense against the Mongols. And they are closer than what we actually realize. It'd be good to get a spy over there to go and see where they actually are. Another very large Danish navy. Are they trying for a round two, the Danes? Or are they just protecting their borders? I think they're just protecting their borders. A Heretic over there. Oh. Successful jihad. Despite best efforts of brave Christian soldiers, this salmon has fallen before the barbaric Muslim hordes. That answered the call of the jihad, the holy war. Regardless whether one sees them as honourable adversaries or horrid heathens, it is clear that a unified Islamist folk is a genuine threat. Well. Well, well, well. That will be the next crusade, I imagine. That will be the next crusade. At the farest reaches of the map. Now, how many turns? Two turns for joining the Crusades. And... Hang on. We can now attack the French. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Yes, we will. The cowards, there we, we go. Butcher, yes. Absolutely. And then we march on to Marseille. Now, I'm fairly sure we won't get excommunicated for that. I'm fairly sure we will not get excommunicated for that. And if we do, I'd be very upset. Very upset indeed. We waited the three turns. We have three hulks there. We're going to get a few more hulks for our king and his supporting army to come in. There we go. And what we're going to do now is join the crusade. We're going to join the crusade. There are no hostilities between you and the crusade target faction. If you join now... It would be considered a declaration of war. Are you sure you wish to proceed? 
Absolutely. We have joined the Crusades. Look at the dread this guy has. He considers honour and virtue foolish weaknessness. Wow. We can get some Crusader Knights. Mercenary Spearmen. Pilgrims offer absolutely nothing. But we could get some Crusader Sergeants. And we have plenty of cash to do so. Some more crossbows, I believe. Let's get let's get a pilgrim. Let's get a pilgrim in there. Why not? There we go. We've done it. We've got our crusading army. What we're going to do is... We're going to go over here. The Moors shouldn't attack the crusading army. But they are an Islamic faction. So they may actually attack us. I have just realised... I have just realised we've lost our army on the bridge. To the rebels. You are not my liege. Oh dear. Come and get me, we should coward. have put them into a settlement. The Spanish are just lingering around there. And Angiers. How many we can get troops over there? Do you know what? Let's get some troops in Angiers. Let's just reinforce Bordeaux with some troops. Have they got any cavalry? They've got one unit of cavalry. We could probably get one unit of cavalry here. Yeah, let's get some feudal knights in there as well and we'll just go and reinforce Bordeaux. Probably should have done that sooner, but that's unfortunate. Now, as we have heard from our councils of lords and nobles, we could actually play to the advantage of the bridges here. We could actually play to the advantage of the bridges, but they could still come in around there very slowly without attacking our troops here. And similarly, the Portuguese, as we've seen, prefer to land troops offshore rather than going over the bridge. So we will for now just keep them in the settlement and just keep retraining these troops up for the time being. Now, where else can we build some infrastructure? I'd like to see Bordeaux growing still. Let's get the crop rotation in there. Angiers, Paris. Get some stuff in Paris. Oh, was that an abbey? We can get a cathedral. Oh, do we get a cathedral in there? It'd be the first cathedral in our empire. It would be the first cathedral in our empire. English assassin. Just keep killing them. Just keep farming the experience, please. Also, you go up there a second. Yes, sir. Do you retrain them? I'm also looking at this You'll Danish fleet here. I would... Oh, we're going to have to keep an eye on them. We are going to have to keep an eye on them. Now, I've just spent all of our funds, and now we can't train any longbows or mailed knights. But that's fine. That is fine. Cease hostilities with France. Congratulations to ourselves. We have indeed ceased hostilities and continued the hostilities straight away. We've also joined the Crusade. Cardinal dies. War with the Turks. And that's it. So hopefully next turn we get our acknowledgement of joining the Crusade. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll get our spy out of Rim. And go and keep an eye on the Holy Romans. And we got the assassination. Perfect. Perfect. They've joined back into York. And they have attacked. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. It was a matter of time. They've clearly decided us. Oh, 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 God. Oh, my. The Danes have sensed the threat of us seizing Stockholm from them. Word has got round. Yeah, we've killed him with the snake. Suitable husband. 16 years old. He seems okay. Congratulations. Assassin's Guild in York. Sure, the Pope is dead. The Pope is dead. And we've just joined the Crusade because he forced us to do so. Cease hostilities with France. Oh no, why? Can this Pope not die as well? Can this Pope not die? Oh, we can't do this and then go a Crusade as well. Oh no. Ah. <sighs> How has the Pope given us a new mission? Or oh, reputation deceitful, untrustworthy, mixed. I mean, we're going to go for... I didn't even realise we still had Cardinals. Let's go for English. Pope Salvi. Right, well, 
We're, oh, the Danes are going to capitalize on this, aren't they? Ah. Yes, your highness. Lufwine, unfortunately, it's not meant to be. It is not meant to be. 28% Catholic. Oh, God. Why? Mission success, blockade ports. Thank you. The crusade grows with England. Multi advanced faction is Furnace. Assassination mission success. Come of of age. Hubert of Kendall. Recruitment diplomatic. Relations worsened, presumably with the Turks. Declared a truce. Holy Romans and the Byzantines. Oh, I've been reconciled Portugal and Hungary. But we're going to be next, aren't we? Is that Holy Romans? Yeah. Marriage celebrations. That's fine. Now. Do we want to lift the siege? How many turns? Is it three turns again? Right. Let's just lift the siege. Let's just lift the siege for now. And if you do it again, I'm sorry, but we just gonna have to kill the France, the French. It doesn't imply we fear them at all. It implies we fear the Pope more so. I also saw this very large Danish army, well, navy coming across over here. So you guys have been retrained up there. Let's get a few more cogs up there at Hulk, sorry. And let's retrain that. We should then be able to come down and actually kill these guys. There isn't any armies in them. Now we can actually join up with these guys. So, let's merge you, merge you. Let's get you, you and you in there as well. We have infantry, we have cavalry. We're going to get you in there as well. Now what else? Let's get the male knights in there. Crossbows are an absolute must. We could probably do with some more infantry units. So let's get the spearmen in there as well. Let's get you guys and you guys. Let's get... Can we keep the experience? We can. Perfect. And perfect. And on that note, we push on to Hamburg. You guys can probably reinforce Antwerp. Just in case they decide to come in behind and attack us. There's an Inquisitor there as well, which I'm just keeping an eye on him. Keeping an eye on him. Where is our assassin? Can you kill him? Mm, it's not the greatest of... 95%. Go and kill that captain. Next turn. Okay. No, we have a lot of archers here. This looks as though it's primarily mercenary units. Let's go and sort them out. Mercenary units with some longbows and some infantry units. Infantry, longbows, cavalry. And let's chuck a spearman in there as well. Are you going to take this fight? You are going to take this fight. What are we dealing with here then? Crossbows, mercenaries, mercenaries, town militia. Let's do it. Glory to your name, sire. Now we have come in from behind of them. So our reinforcements are going to be coming in over the horizon. We've attacked, so we need to go to them. So, assuming longbows are up front, infantry are behind them, and cavalry is behind them as well. I'm going to keep... Actually, no, let's not kill off our young general just yet. Let's keep our cavalry there. Let's group this... Let's group you guys together. Let's group these guys... Actually, let's leave them. Now, where are they? Oh, they're over here. Let's just advance... Oh, wait, hang on. They're not going to advance towards us, are they? No, they're not. Perfect. Perfect. Well, in that case, then. You guys, jump down here. Everybody, come here. Come here. That's it. Although there is, like, a nice little high perch here. But, again, we have attacked them, so... They're not going to come to us. Let's try and regroup together. I'd like to utilise all of the missile units that we have before we engage in any significant battle. Now, we are advancing on them now. We've got everyone together. How close are you guys going? You're going there, and you should hopefully be in range for these crossbow militia. They are literally frozen. They've stood still. They clearly do not see the imposing... No, they do. Wait, no. Wait, no, they are now turning to face. We've also got our cavalry going in behind. Hopefully not too close and in range of those crossbows. Because that is the last thing I want to be doing. Sacrificing. Yep, they are turning to face the main army, which is good. Now, how close... If we charge in from this side, they're coming towards us. Charge into them. Let's turn this down a bit. 
Come on, charge straight into them. The longbows are firing already. They are, they're shaken just from the thought of engaging with the cavalry. They've broken already. Crossbow, go into them. Perhaps the cavalry can just win this for us. Honestly. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. You guys go over there. You guys go over there. You guys go over there. The town militia decided to turn and face. No, you guys, come on. That's it. Run. Run. You've got double the amount of legs as them. Please use them. Oh, God. Right. Lombos. Wait, the mercenary crossbowmen are coming towards the main army. What is coming towards us? You guys are walking. Now, why are you guys walking? Are you limp? What is going on? I've definitely got you on run. Can you please run? Please? God. Well, you're going to get engaged, aren't you? So let's get the crossbows in on you guys. Let's get the cavalry on them. Because clearly you guys... Oh, so now you want to run as soon as you want to engage. Well, you're going to die if you do that by yourself. Please just can you, like, meet up with everybody else before you do that. The longbows are still firing. And that's all we want. Let's just avoid any unnecessary casualties with our infantry. Now, you guys have all merged together, so charge straight into those. They should break immediately. What do we have here? Tau Militia. Some more crossbow militia here, which is also the commanding unit here. The commander there in his shiny armor, looking on as his troops just absolutely get demoralized and decimated by our cavalry alone. Now, I don't want to charge into the Tau Militia because that could be quite a bad move, although you guys seem to be quite eager on doing that. That's coming from behind... Are these, yeah, the mercenary spearmen are now actually locked on to our cavalry, so that's fine. I think they're all locked on to us, to be honest. Let's get our mate. Oh, they've broken. Mercenary spearmen have broken. Crossbow militia have broken. Perhaps if we charge into these guys, then they're eager. But if we charge into them, will they actually break? Will they break? Will they break? They're shaken. It's a very big. Th that's a big risk we just took there. Wavering. And. Shaken. No, they're not going to break. They're not. Oh no, they might do. Our men are winning the Warmed up, wavering. Like this, Sixty-five. The They've broken. Okay. I mean, we took a bit of a risk there, but mercenary spearman. No, go to the crossbow. 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 Run, run. Please, no. What are you doing? Thank you. Please run after them. Longbows still firing. That's all we want them to do. Let's just let the cavalry do the work. Where is the general? The general's run. The general has run. I'm fairly sure he's run. You guys can just finish off them. They're shaking. They're not wavering, though. I think this is the only unit that hasn't broken. And it is the commanding unit. And that should be it. That should be it. What's left? Oh, these guys are engaging. What are they? Mercenary spearmen? I'd be very surprised if they got anywhere close to our line. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. As soon as they exit this, this wood line, they're going to realise what they've just done. They're going to realise what they've just done. They're wavering. You guys can just have a field day picking off any other troops that you can find. But for the time being, I think... Actually, go and pick off these. Go and pick off these quickly. And then these. And then these. Now, on this front... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just... um, Yeah, let's continue it. Let's clean up what we can. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great... We lost 38 and killed and captured 817. This is great. The fact we've taken all of the castle, fortress and citadels that HRE actually have is amazing. The troops they are fielding and now are pitiful. Are they going to pay this? Let's ransom it. They've rejected it anyway. They're dead. Perhaps we could actually push on with the Holy Romans as well. I would like to finish off the French. I'd really like to finish off the French. You guys can go back to Stauffen and get retrained there. Perfect. We could actually upgrade to a citadel here as well. Oh. <gasps> No. Is this a citadel? No, that's a fortress. How close are we to getting... What is the population? Is it 9,000 we need for it to become a citadel? Let's get a communal farmer in there. We could actually get a st Stauffen into a citadel. Imagine that. That would be the most frontist citadel that we have on the Eastern Empire. That could prove very beneficial. 
we perhaps might want to do that. That's probably why they're going for Metz, actually, because it is only a castle, because we have a fortress there, and that will be a citadel very soon. So, this is definitely the weaker of the three. Okay. Borders. Yeah, okay. I think next turn we actually push on to get Stauffen into a citadel. Now, can we train some... We need... Why? Why is this? Pope, can you please make this make sense? Why? Can they just stop attacking us? Please. Please, please, please. Now, we have a bit of cash here as well. So, irrigation, some siege works for the trebuchets. That could be nice. You can move over here. Let's see if they actually attack us. Let's see if they actually attack us. I'd be very surprised if they did. We could get some more troops in there as well, but... Oh, actually, do we get some more archers? No, because we've got the crossbows. Actually, yeah, let's get one more set of archers. You guys can go in there as well. Congratulations. You're now part of the crusade. Actually, no. No, 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 no. You are not part of the crusade. That is my bad. Let's get you guys out of there. Now. Burn could probably do with some more troops, but... Eh. They're not really actually pushing yes. forward onto us at Spurn now, are they? We need you over here. What are you? Are you a Holy Roman Princess? Imperial Princess, you are. Let's get you over here. We've got our spy moving on further down in this direction. Krakow. Okay, so no sight of any Mongols just yet. No sign of any Mongols just yet. Let's get over here to these old rebel settlements. Now... In London. Ooh, Abby, we also had the possibility of getting a cathedral here. Do we do it? I think we do. Let's try and please the Pope more so that they allow us to actually... Ah. Yes. They're us and Venice. I really would just like this one time in this campaign just to get in the into the Pope's favour. And also, we're never going to get a Pope. We are never going to get a Pope unless we get so many Cardinals that our votes completely outweigh everybody else's votes. And that's exactly what I think we may do. Let us know in the comments with that as well. And on that note, everyone, we are going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments and I will see you all in the next one.